everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to scale up your pouch patterns. This will work for the Pythagorean pouch or the Logie pouch and also other PDF patterns that you have. I am using a Windows computer and I'm using a Brother printer. If you are using different systems, then you can just do a Google or YouTube search and see if you can find your specific instructions if these ones don't work for your particular computer. I am using Adobe as my PDF reader. If I open up my Pythagorean pouch pattern and I go to the print option at the top, it will open up this menu here. If you click under the size section, you first want to make sure that it is not selected to print on both sides of the paper. Then you're going to go to your poster setting. And when you're in your poster setting, you're going to change the tile scale to the percentage that you want and your overlap. I like to have my overlap at 0 0.05. And I will show you, for example, if I print at 120%, if you look here where it is currently at scale 100%, if you change it to 120%, and then click over here, you can see that it just increased in size. And when we print that out, it will be 120% of the original size. Now that will be all of the pieces of the pattern. And it still says it's printing one page because it's one page of the PDF as opposed to one page through your printer. And you print that out and then you will be able to cut the extra piece of one side and tape or glue them together. If you prefer to have more overlap, you can certainly change that. I just use the little bit of overlap there and you can print it in all different sizes. If I change it, for example, to 150%, you can see that it gets that much bigger and it will now need to print on four pages, but you can just adjust it to whatever you want and just consider what the increase in the finished pouch size will be compared to the original Pythagorean pouch. And you go and print that and then you can trim the edge off one side and then tape it together. And when you tape it together, you will be lining up where the text is and where the lines are on the pattern piece so that you know that you've lined it up properly. And then you can go ahead and just sew that as normal. The scale is consistent across the different pattern pieces, so you shouldn't have to make any other adjustments except for the zipper length that you were using. You're going to want to use a zipper length that starts the same width as your exterior pattern piece. And when you have finished turning the edge and turning the open end and adding your tab, you want it to be a total of an inch and a half shorter than your exterior piece. This is printed in the poster setting at 120%. So you're just gonna print it like that. Your one inch square obviously is going to be off, but then you just trim down one side of the pattern. And then you're just going to line it up. You should be able to line up the text and the lines there. Just like you would if you were piecing a bigger pattern together. Then you can just tape it, glue it, whatever your preference is. And you're gonna wanna do that for all the pieces, the exterior, the lining, and the fleece. And then when you do your zipper, you're just going to do it Whatever the percentage that you did, you're going to do it an inch and a half less will be your finished zipper size, an inch and a half less than this width of the pouch. So for this one, for example, it's almost nine and a half inches. So I would have a finished zipper length of eight inches. So I would probably start with nine and a half or 10 so that when you turn the ends and then add the tab, you end up with that finished zipper size. And then you just can sew it as is. The Proportions will all be the same because it's just a very basic pouch. So you can increase it to whatever you want, tape it together, and the zipper length is the only thing that you would have to adjust and you can still use the same seam allowance. And then you can make your Pythagorean pouch in whatever size you want. Hope that helps. Thanks everyone.